the problem. But the truth is, Adrian Broner hasn't worried anybody in years. Since eking past Pauli Malignaggi in June of 2013, Broner has gone an uninspiring 6-3 with a scant two victories occurring inside the distance and has seen his boxing stock plunge like a wounded bird. And as unspectacular as Broner's been between the ropes, his life away from the ring has been even spottier, with arrests, arraignments, and other dramas as commonplace as lunch. Yet despite his chronic underachievements, Broner's popularity, if not his credibility, has remarkably still held firm, with Showtime affording him opportunity after opportunity to write a ship sent wayward by poor judgment away from work and comprehensive setbacks to Marcus Maidana, Sean Porter, and Mikey Garcia while on the clock. On April 21st, Showtime provides Broner with yet another lifeline in the guise of former two-division world champ Jesse Vargas in a fight that has the same do-or-die optics that framed Broner's lackluster 2017 performances in narrow victory over fringe contender Adrian Granados and comprehensive defeat to Garcia. But in Vargas, Broner's facing a much bigger man who possesses an unyielding will, spring-loaded right hand, and like Broner, a need for a signature win to boost a resume that's more noted for its occasional setbacks, in the case of Vargas to Tim Bradley and Manny Pacquiao, than its many triumphs. And while Broner is far removed from his prime, when he parlayed his preternatural ring sense and unstoppable weaponry into world titles at 130 and 135 pounds before gorging himself into a mediocre welterweight, he's managed to keep himself viable, if not relevant, with an underappreciated in-ring grit and a certain charm that manages to trump his undeniable personality flaws. But unlike Broner, who, as he's shown, can eat quite well while just being Broner, Vargas's livelihood would be exponentially enhanced as a world champion, with the win on the 21st almost certainly opening up a spot for him opposite either unified welterweight champ Keith Thurman or IBF kingpin Errol Spence Jr. And while Broner doesn't need a world title to earn the big bucks, another loss will take still more air out of his life raft, turning the specter of a squandered career into a certainty and turning the problem, once one of the sport's brightest lights, into a cautionary tale.